In this video, I want to talk to you about the exam, about preparing for the exam and so forth, because I get a lot of emails from people. Keep those emails coming. I'm not complaining about the emails, but this is obviously a hot topic with a lot of people. So let's talk about it. First of all, my goal with this course is to help you prepare for the 70-410 exam. Now notice what I did not say. I didn't say make you pass it. I didn't say give you the secret weapon to pass it. I didn't say tell you what they're going to ask you. Notice what that says. It says help you prepare for that 70-410 exam. Now I get this question a lot in emails. Are the certifications from Microsoft, are those exams difficult? Answer, two answers. First one, yes, they are. These exams cover a wide array of technologies. There's a lot to Windows Server 2012, and there's about 25 million possible questions Microsoft can come up with. So there's a lot of information to understand. But what Microsoft is testing you on is to see if you understand the basics of those technologies and how they work together to do what you need them to do. Because you're going to take these things out into your real world and make Microsoft's technologies work for you. Now, these exams are designed for experienced personnel. Microsoft's assuming when you come to this exam that you've had a fair amount of hands-on experience with Windows Server 2012. Now, if you haven't, you need to take a little time and get it. Now, let me ask this question again. Are Microsoft certification exams difficult? Answer, no. If you are familiar with the various technologies in Windows Server 2012, and if you understand the technologies, and how they work together. Trust me, you are not going to get simple, straightforward questions from Microsoft on this exam like, what is Active Directory? What you will get is a question that determines if you understand what Active Directory is and how it works based on how you try to configure something or how you try to deal with an issue. Now, if you have hands-on experience with Windows Server 2012, you're going to be surprised at how easy this certification exam turns out to be. So notice what I'm getting at here. You need to be familiar with these technologies. You need to understand how they work together, and you need hands-on experience. Now, another question I get, will this course cover everything that somebody needs to pass the exam? Answer, probably not. Now, I hope that doesn't shock you, but here's why. Microsoft lists the skills that will be measured, and I consult that when I put the course together. However, they also point out that that list is not complete, and that list can change at any time, and other topics may be on the actual exam that aren't even on that list. So the bottom line is, is there's no way I can cover everything, and there's no way you can know everything. So you're going to get a lot of what you need. What I strive to do is give you the basics here, the common functionalities and how they work, let you get hands-on experience with those, and trust me, that will be enough to pass most of these exams. That's the way I've always passed them, and I've passed a lot of these things. I failed a few. We'll talk about that near the end of the course, because I'm going to tell you step-by-step step how to go in and deal with this exam in the most effective manner. So here's what you want to do. Look at the common functionalities I cover. Go get hands-on with them. And any technology or functionality that I mention here that it's the first time you've heard of it, you've heard of it before, you're not really sure about it, you need to go get some hands-on, play with that, get comfortable with it, okay? Then uh, we want to get the question, can I pass the exam without knowing everything about Server 2012? Answer, absolutely. All you're trying to do here is indicate that you've achieved a specific level of understanding about Windows Server 2012. You do not need to score a 100 to pass the exam. You just need to pass. So get the basics, get the stuff I cover here. Anything that you're weak or confused on, go do a little research. You cannot get too much hands on. And I think you'll find the exam to be not nearly as intimidating as you might fear. So I hope that helps answer some questions about the exam.